Welcome. This is a forward short flow. We're going to work into our neck and shoulders today. So go ahead, come down to child's pose. Um, you can pick whichever ver version suits you. Your knees can be spread wide so your chest comes in between them. Knees can be together so you're draped over them. Arms can reach forward or if that doesn't feel the greatest for your neck and shoulders, reach around and grab for your heels or at least have your arms back by your side. Let your forehead come to the mat or stack your hands underneath your forehead and just roll your shoulders down away from your ears. A lot of people walk around with their shoulders pretty much touching their ears and that's what we're gonna try to release a little bit in this flow. Your big toes are touching. Breathing in and out through your nose, in through your nose, out through your mouth, whatever works for you. Try to take big, full belly breaths. Use all your lungs, get your diaphragm working. Roll your shoulders back maybe a little bit more. Maybe some shoulder rolls here, some circles. See what's going on. And go ahead and take a couple more breaths. Maybe trying to stretch your arms forward, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. Engaging your lats, almost like you're trying to do a pull up or a lat pull down. Nothing crazy, just a little bit of engagement there. And then on your next inhale, looking up, pressing down through your hands, coming up into tabletop. Shoulders come over your wrists, fingers are wide, gripping the mat. And bring your knees underneath your hips for a tabletop. On our inhale, we're going to go ahead and come into cow pose. Chest comes open and down, head lifts, tailbone lifts. Keep your arms externally rotated and your shoulders away from your ears. You're going to be hearing that a lot. It's a good reminder. Most of us don't realize how much we just creep up like that. So long neck. And on an exhale, arch your back, drop your head in your tailbone, cat pose. Shoulders stay where they are. And exhale, drop a little bit further. Inhale, cow. And go ahead and flow through this however it feels good to you. You can do cow on a breath on an inhale, cat on an exhale. Or you can hold for a couple breaths in each one whatever works always making those little adjustments that make the pose feel better seeing where you subconsciously go back to old holding patterns and then maybe on your next set you kind of let your rib cage swing around in a circle not really swing you move it in a circle one direction working into your thoracic spine getting your scapula moving against your back and go the other direction don't focus so much on the breath here, just move. And then maybe it feels good to go into cat with an arch to one side, cow on the same side. Switch to the other side and exhale to cow, cat. Feel free to stay there and go through that as long as you'd want to. Otherwise, we're gonna go ahead and move into puppy pose. Hips stay over knees and then just go ahead, lower down to your forearms. Let your chest fall down towards the mat. You can stay here if this works for you. If you wanna to try to go a little bit deeper, you can even place a block or a pillow underneath your chest to support it. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, just walk your hands forward, slowly letting your chest fall to the mat and either your forehead or if it feels good, your chin. Really working into your thoracic spine, your upper back, keeping your shoulders where they've been away from your ears the whole time. And not so much holding tension in this pose, use your breath to allow yourself to relax into it. So many times when we stretch, we're still holding the tension to force it, allow it to happen. Even if you back out a little bit and come back up to where, say you kinda wanna go further, but you're not quite there yet, and then just play with that. And this opens up the front of your body. It's always fun to open up the front and then play with the back. So many times, inhale, come up to tabletop. 
So many times we focus on stretching the back, our upper back, our hamstrings, our, the back of our hips, our glutes. We forget that there's a front side too. We're gonna come in to thread the needle. Place your left hand underneath your nose. Inhale, open your right arm to the ceiling. Exhale, thread your right arm through and lay your cheek on the mat. Again, this is gonna stretch the back across your scapula and also the front a little bit. You can leave your hand by your face. I know you guys can't see me, you'll see me on the other side. Or you can wrap it around your back to open into the front of the left shoulder a little bit. Relax, letting yourself open instead of forcing the stretch. On your next inhale, left hand comes back by your face if it's not there. Reopen to the right side. Right hand comes underneath your nose. Inhale, open the left arm. Thread the needle on the other side. Placing your hand wherever you did or as close as you can to where it was on the other side. You might feel some differences. That's okay, I say it all the time. Everybody's sides are different. Keeping your hips over your knees or as close to as you can. Inhaling, right hand comes back by your face, pushing back up into tabletop, opening to the left again. Exhaling down. Then go ahead, if you're near the top of your mat, just walk your body back. We're gonna go ahead and come down to Cobra. Legs come together, tops of the feet pressing into the mat. Your legs are active, your glutes are working, and with your core on an inhale, come up a little bit. Shoulders stay, guess what? Down and back, away from your ears. <sighs> Lifting your hands if you want to, or just using them for as little support as you can. You don't wanna be pushing up through your hands to force this pose. Exhaling, lowering. Maybe do a little wiggle. And then bring your forearms so your elbows are underneath your shoulders. Plant your hands down and come into Sphinx Pose to where you're pulling. Everything else stays the same as in Cobra. And you can stay in Cobra or come back to it again if this doesn't really feel good. Roll your shoulder blades down and open your chest towards the front of your mat. Neck stays long. Try to find some length, almost like you're pulling your rib cage away from your pelvis. Exhale, let your chest relax in between your arms. That your shoulders will come closer to your ears, but it's just because that's the way your body's moving, not because you're holding them up there. And exhale, lower. Maybe windshield wiper your legs a little bit. And scoot back on your mat. I will show you this. Stretch your right arm out or your left, whatever. Right cheek comes to the mat. Inhale, roll your right hip open so your right foot comes behind your leg. Keep your right shoulder on the mat. Obviously your left shoulder lifts and then stay here for a second. If it feels good, you can keep opening a little bit, rolling more into the front of that shoulder. Exhaling, releasing. And coming to the other side, left arm stretches out. Left, left cheek to the mat, right leg comes over and fix your clothes. Press the left shoulder into the mat. You can keep your cheek down or you can raise up if you'd like to. Working a little bit further into it, really opening the front of your shoulders and your chest, your chest muscles, your pecs. You can use your right hand for support.
exhaling, releasing, coming back to center. And then go ahead, push through tabletop child's pose, come up to standing. And we're gonna go ahead and do a quick, feet can be hips width distance apart, bend your knees, clasp your hands behind you or grab a towel, a t-shirt, a strap, whatever. Inhale, open the chest wide, exhale, bend the knees, hinge at the hips and let your hands fall heavy. If you're grabbing or if you're holding a towel or something, grab it with your palms facing forward and allow gravity to do the work. And in here you can shift side to side, maybe do some shoulder rolls. Whatever feels good. Inhale, come out of it a little bit. Exhale, use your breath to sink into the stretch deeper. Keep your knees bent as much as you need to. And when you're ready, exhale, release. Hands come down. And go ahead, inhale, come back to standing. Thank you very much. Now you can go through that a couple more times if you'd like to or you can move on to the next short flow in this series, which would be more about activating and strengthening muscles to keep your shoulders from going back up there. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next.